G'day everybody, Chaotic here. Today we are going to go over and break down crafting skill. What does it do? How does it work? Is it worth it? Does the focal chili help? Math? Oh boy, this is a lot. This is a complicated one with too much math to completely go over. But if you find yourself learning something or enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps a lot. Trust me. All right, let's break down what it does. Crafting skill gives you a bonus to crafted items from blueprints like saddles and gear and homemade food recipes. It will also increase your crafting speed in your inventory. But as a side note, it doesn't work with your base engrams due to how the math is set up and works. Crafting skill levels. When you craft an item with crafting skill, it will increase its properties randomly based off of how many levels you have in crafting skill from near zero to your maximum set levels based off a complex formula that I will get to here in a minute. For every point that you put into a level of crafting skill, it adds to the maximum possible outcome of the craft by 0.5%. You can currently achieve a maximum of 154 levels, which will give you a 77% increase on crafting. That is, until Genesis 2 is released. And that may have a maximum of 169 levels, and that will make it a 84.5% maximum increase to your crafting. You should only put levels in a crafting skill when you're of a high enough level and crafting something good. You want the maximum effect to get the best that you can for whatever it is that you plan on making. Use a mind wipe tonic or even have a dedicated crafting character. But beware that the mind wipe tonics have a 24 hour cooldown by default. This is changeable on single player or on official servers if you're hosting one. Now, let's get into the formula to determine your best possible gain from crafting skill. Blueprint minus primitive base stats equals A times crafting skill 0.5% per level times A equals B equals B plus blueprint equals new max item stats. Oh, I know that looks confusing, but let's break it down just a little bit. Rex Saddle Engram equals 25 armor. The Rex Saddle Blueprint that I'm going to use is an Ascended 102.8 armor. This character's current level is 107. We times that by 0.5 to figure out our crafting skill percentage, which is 53.5%. We then need to take the Ascended Saddle's 102.8 armor and minus off the Engram Saddle's 25 armor to get a 77.8. We then now need to take that 77.8 times it by the 53.5% in a decimal conversion that is 0.535 to get a grand total of 41.62. We then take that 41.62 plus the original Ascended Saddle's armor value of 102.8 and add that together to equal 144.42. 144.42, now the maximum armor rec saddle that I can make from crafting skill. Now the chances of getting that is very slim. I made a thousand saddle and out of that only 113 of them came out with 140 plus armor, 48% crafting skill and above. That's an 11.3% chance of getting near max. Unfortunately, in those 1,000 saddles that I made, I didn't even get one to come out as a max craft. The closest one was a 53% out of the 53.5% max, but I only got one of those, and the next one was a 52.7%. But it is more than worth it to get the best stats possible for your boss and mission dino, or maybe even PvP, to soak those turrets for as long as you can but I'm not 100% sure, I'm not really a PvP guy. Now, while doing this, I also did a sub-experiment, and of those 1,000 saddles, I crafted 500 with focal chili to see if they would make a difference in both quality 
and the amount of quality I got, but the results were not what I was expecting. Of the 500 with Chili, I got 57 saddles that were 140 plus armor, topping out at a 52.7% crafting bonus. And without the Chili, I got 56 140 plus armor saddles, topping out at 53% crafting bonus. Well, that's not really much of a difference at all. 500 isn't that much of a pool, but with such similar results, I can say that Focal Chili doesn't help anything other than crafting just a little bit faster. Hopefully you understand crafting skill just a little bit more now. This video was suggested by my Patreon supporter Rotan. Also, I'd like to give a big shout out to my top tier Patreon supporter, Suddenly Airy. If you have any questions or would like to add something, please put it down in the comments below. And if you're into series content, check out my solo series. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and hopefully, I will see you in the next one.